Good evening. The news hit around breakfast time as a lot of Americans were sitting down in front of a plate of bacon or sausage. The alarming warning from the World Health Organization's cancer research arm that goes like this. Processed meats cause cancer and red meat probably does too. Of course, the potential risks of processed meat has been suggested before, but never in such blunt terms. And in our meat-loving country, this warning is causing quite a stir among both worried consumers and meat producers. NBC's Ann Thompson lays it out for us. They have the sizzle so many people love. Bacon, sausage, the all-American hot dog. Today, part of the processed meats labeled cancer causers by an agency of the World Health Organization. The same group said red meat, beef, lamb, and pork are probably carcinogens. The risk? Colorectal cancer, underscoring what the American Cancer Society says it's been recommending for more than a decade. Limiting the consumption is really important because the risk increases with the amount of red meat and processed meat consumed. Processed meats are defined as any meat, like ham or bologna, that's altered by salting, curing, or some other method. Most have beef or pork, but can contain poultry. The report says such meats cause cancer. Eating 50 grams a day, about two slices of bacon, increases the risk for colon cancer 18%. Red meat, which it says probably causes cancer, 100 grams a day, a piece the size of a deck of cards, raises the risk 17%. The report puts processed meats in the same category as cigarettes and asbestos, but the danger is not even close. The CDC says smoking increases your cancer risk by 2,000%. The $134 billion meat industry called the 800 studies the WHO report looked at unconvincing. Scientific evidence just simply doesn't support a causal link between any type of red or processed meat and any type of cancer. There's meat in Amy Marston's grocery basket, but not a lot for her three-year-old son, Noah. We just try to be aware. We try to be mindful of how much that we give him. Make smarter choices. It's Nutritionist Madeline Fernstrom says lean red meats can be a good choice. Are there red meats that are good for you? Okay. Red meats can be very healthy, again, in moderation. It's complete protein that's concentrated, all the amino acids. It has B12 and iron. These are particularly important. The question now, is this new report enough to change the all-American diet? Ann Thompson, NBC News, Wayne, New Jersey. We know this news is going to spur a lot of questions. Let's bring in Dr. Roshini Raj from NYU's Langone Medical Center. Doctor, a lot of viewers out there saying, what am I supposed to do right now? Obviously, one option is to stop eating meat, but that's probably not likely. No, so we're talking about processed meat, and the occasional hot dog or salami is not going to make a big impact. But we're talking about daily use of processed meats. It did find a significant increased risk of colorectal cancer, which is the third leading cause of cancer death in this country. So you do want to minimize your intake of processed meats. Occasionally it's fine, but if you're doing it daily, it is time to change that habit. It was put in the same category as cigarettes. That doesn't mean it has the same numbers in terms of impact, but it was definitively shown to be a carcinogen based on 800 studies, thousands of people involved. They reviewed all the evidence, and they really made a definitive stand here. All right, Dr. Raj, thank you for being here. Thank Appreciate you. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.